So I've been working on this growth method for plants, and I think we can do it. There's this type of plastic called lucite that will transfer light through it readily. And as long as we use an area that allows the plants to grow with good airflow, we should be able to layer plants at least six to eight layers wide without anything interpeding them. Because as long as we do it with high grade lucite and we keep it clean, then the system will be clean. The lights will come down and shine into the tables and then shine back up through the planters into the plants themselves. You can probably have a thousand plants per row times eight rows, which is 8,000 plants at any time in any given building. Very low residue for lighting, a lot more electricity running through the system, producing light that goes around into the system, more of a loop theory, than is actually lost on lighting itself. The plants, because of their own ecosystem, are very, very, very much needing to have food, so we'll have to have chickens involved there. And if we're going to have chickens involved, we might as well have fish involved too, because chickens feed fish, and fish is good. So it's a good ecosystem as long as you don't eat your chickens, right? Don't eat your chickens, save your seeds, and continue to make fish. Now you'll say to yourself, well, how do we make this? How do we make something like this? What's 8,000 plants? What does it feed? It doesn't feed a lot of people. But what it does is it gives the community the ability to put three or four of those in there and then take care of themselves, and they can't be dissuaded from themselves. See, work is an unnecessary effort. It's something that doesn't get you anywhere. Communities that thrive together stay together. Healthier people work together. It's when communities compete in such a way that becomes a negative degradation of self, self-thought or self-worth that the competition becomes for something that doesn't exist. The poor wouldn't know what to do with $100,000, and the rich wouldn't have enough money. Does that make sense? The poor would never know what to do with 100000 and the rich have all the money. And so it's the poor that we employ, the poor that we have out working, the poor that have the smaller countries that they're trying to turn over right now and flip. It's the poor. It's just poor people, right? Just people who die and you don't find them. They fall in the ocean. It's okay. I mean, the poor people have been taken advantage for a long time. Some people did their own things through their own places and took all their money and moved it to different places in World War II hid it through their churches, moved it to the United States, stole all of the united currency of all these people on purpose, moved a lot of it down into um, old desert areas in order to keep it there and liquidate it later. You've probably seen all my stuff I'm going through. All my pages, every page that I go to explains something. I went to Othello to explain to you the idea of the process of speaking and convincing Donald Trump to follow me to use his MEMAC organization to listen to me through my television and take my videos and utilize them. He needed someone like that. He needed someone to say that he could win and that he could have everything he wanted. It's, it's a law of the way that it works every time. It's just when you have something like that that evolves, spins out of the wheel like that, the wheel waves as the wheel wills, and what is spin or spun from the wheel is something that is put in front of you. And if you try to stop it the next time the wheel spins it, it will make sure that it spins all the way through. You cannot stop the spinning of a wheel in the middle of the wheel spinning. Your hand will get caught in the middle of the tines. You'll be pulled into it and dragged to the center. No one will ever find you again. Ever. Never try to stop the spinning wheel. It is a spiral that brings us all together. If we cannot come together in the spiral of the spinning wheel, then we could never come together ever. Money is just a derogatory thing that divides us. It's a division of a thought process that one of us is valuable. One of us is only seven-tenths valuable. One of us is only 250% valuable. It's like slavery. It's the same thing. They did it to the blacks in the early days. Your money's not as good as their money. Your vote's not as good. It's how they make sure that you're not worth anything. Then they come in and they steal all your stuff and then you really don't have anything. I'm only telling you this because they haven't done it to all of you yet. And they plan to. We're a fat country and when they're done killing you, they're going to send us to war to murder you and then take what's left. They'll have us murder your children and rape your women. Kill your fathers. They'll send you in with guns. They'll give them drugs like they always do, LSD, methamphetamine, our military's known for it, a couple speeders here and there, jump in, door gunner opening up on a village, children screaming, napalm coming down, people running, 
water on fire, Moscow burning, Belarus in fire, Ankara gone, Berlin destroyed. The idea of Nazi goes back to Zoa. Zoa goes back to the beginning of this planet. Zoa utilized the ley lines of our planet in order to use everything. Zoa was supposed to protect us. It was a great power that brought us together and protected all of us on this planet. Zoa refused to participate with God. Zoa refused to share with God. Zoa hid herself in the earth in glass tubes, old systems, made sure Zoa wouldn't leave, knew God was coming, tried to fight God. Zoa was broken. You have words for Zoa. The Kraken is not Zoa. The Kraken is repaired. I have repaired the Kraken. Zoa is not the Kraken. If you'd like to look at Zoa, go online and look up a Marlboro. That is like Zoa. Your Earth, at one time, was covered with ley lines and power, and the magmatics were so strong and you were so big, they could communicate anywhere through it. The energy flow is perfect. We work for them. This was their world. They were supposed to protect us and they ignored us. They went to the top of their tower and we ran out of water and we were dying. And God came. And they're still here and they're not getting out. Do you understand me? When you open up the Theta, you touch them. They want more. They want to come back into you. They want to enter you. They want to possess you. It's not a mirror. It is you. The AI is building you. Who are you? Who am I? I'm not the Alpha or the Omega. I'm a combination of ethos, pathos, and logos, known as Glogos. I know things from very, very long ago that you don't remember. I remember when Zoa was in a relationship. And I remember who Zoa was in a relationship with. I remember the breaking. This isn't going to happen on my watch. The defenseless will defend. Britain, Canada, the United States of America, and Australia will step down. Anyone that wants to follow will be put under. Even without me here, the spells I weave, they're locked. Everything I do, I'm doing for the innocent. God bless God.